Hello Internet, you're watching the 10 Master 8 channel, you want stuff for technology, fitness, and everything else that you can possibly think of, so make sure to subscribe guys, alright? Click the subscribe button right up there. For this, you will only need two things. You will need a Phillips screwdriver, like such, I bought this off of Walmart for around 5 bucks a long time ago, and of course, the RAM which you are going to install now, bought this off Amazon.com. The first step is to get your iMac and place it on a soft surface. I'm using my bed right now and I'm placing it face down. As you can see, right beneath your computer, you should see three screws, which are the screws that should be unscrewed with the Phillips screwdriver. Get your Phillips screwdriver out and simply unscrew all three screws which are located underneath the iMac. Uh, if you want, well, I suggest you lift up the stand. As you can see, you can push the stand up, and that will allow you to fully see all three screws underneath your iMac. You can then take the cover off, and you will see that your iMac already has two memory RAM in there. To begin, simply pull on the plastic strap firmly, but very carefully, and your RAM should pop out. As you can see, I'm trying to pull it out right here but I really want to be gentle with it so let me just pull and bam it should come out and just carefully put your old RAM aside now the way you're gonna insert your RAM is the smaller part is gonna be on the right side of the RAM uh, so like I said before with the smaller side on the right you're gonna insert your RAM inside the iMac now you must make sure that it is all the way in and the way that you can tell is um, your RAM must not move so it must stay in there very very solidly once you have the first one in, you can do the same thing for the second one and you can install that one just beneath the first one now like I said before you can make sure well you should make sure that they are both solidly in there and they do not move for anything nada Simply repeat what you did on the left side to the right or vice versa. It's very simple to do and uh, just make sure that both of your RAMs are in there correctly. In other words, make sure that they do not move. They are very solidly put. Once you've made sure that both of your RAMs are in there correctly, you can then put the plastic strap back in the iMac. As you can see, you can put it in between both of the RAM slots as such, and bam. You can then begin to put back the cover on your iMac, and like you did before, instead of unscrewing, you will be screwing back the three screws into your iMac. Once you have officially screwed in all three screws, you are pretty much done. Now the last thing to do is to check on your computer once you turn it on if it recognizes the RAM. So hopefully once I turn my computer on, I will go from 4 gigabytes of RAM all the way up to 8.